the God particle. This morning, scientists using a $9.5 billion accelerator will launch the most ambitious particle physics experiment in history. They're on the hunt for the never-before-detected Higgs boson that many theorize binds the universe together. The whole purpose is to test, to accelerate particles in such a way so they could find what in the world creates mass or reality, right? Physical reality. That I believe that that what they called today in the live conference, dark energy, I believe that this is the first indicator of karma. Of karmic existence. Within this dark energy lies a filtrating system which we call karma. Because we have to remember that the, this particular structure that I just drew on the board, it is a structure of both or all our individual karma structure, which means that if we if this was our individual, then everything begins in the beginning. And then it resonates and then it becomes our physical reality. So so if this was our individual karmic structure, then right here we could draw ourselves. Us. This is where we are where the mass is, right? Uh, but that is really, what we're describing here is a level of manifestation of universal energy into our reality. That's what we're actually looking at. And this is how karma is connected to mass. This is how dark energy is connected to mass because up until it passes, the speed of light crosses the speed of light it seemingly non-existent. Say, if if only four percent is here, four percent is here, and I drew it the wrong way because this is what it would be. If four percent is who we are, then ninety-six percent of who we are, which is not physical, which is not measurable, which is not seen. But it's still us. It's our karmic information that manifests. Regardless of the fact that science does not yet, did not yet found, did not yet find the 96%, regardless of that fact, uh, that 96% apparently has to exist because it is what makes mass or our reality exist. That, that's, that's what causes our reality to exist. Now, our system, our physical system, has, it, it's one. I mean, it, it, that 96 and, and 4, they're only separated by us because we separate what we can see and what we can't, what we can measure and what we can't. But it's really all 100%. Because we exist within that 100%, this is why every single moment of our life we have that ability to affect it and every single moment of our life it affects us. It's okay. So what we're going to do during the course is actually learn the action that needs to be taken to bring our connectivity our connection, our glue, higher. That we're going to learn how to reach uh, higher success in everything that we do in life, being health, being relationships, or whatever it is that we're searching for, what we perceive to be success at any given time. We'll talk about what it is, the different perception levels of success that we have. 
and I speak of, of my original formula of success, which is energy times will times freedom. And what we're going to concentrate on, I'm going to move, I'm going to redefine not this formula, I'm going to explain it again, but I'm going to redefine it into uh, what we actually, what actions, not reactions, but what actions we need to take to raise the quality of the energy or really to raise our connectivity. Con 